September 28, Isaiah 47, 1 to 48, 22. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground without a throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for you shall no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstones and grind meal, remove your veil, take off the skirt and cover the thigh, pass through the rivers, your nakedness shall be uncovered. Yes, your shame will be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not arbitrate with a man. As for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, is his name, the Holy One of Israel. Sit in silence and go into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for you shall no longer be called the lady of kingdoms i was angry with my people i have profaned my inheritance and given them into your land or into your hand you showed them no mercy on the elderly you laid your yoke very heavily and you said i shall be a lady forever so that you did not take these things to heart nor remember the latter end of them therefore Hear this now, you who are given to pleasures, who dwell securely, who say in your heart, I am, and there is no one else besides me. I shall not sit as a widow, nor shall I know the the loss of children. But these two things shall come to you in a moment in one day, the loss of children and widowhood and widowhood. They shall come upon you in their fullness, because of the multitude of your sources, for the great abundance of your enchantments, for you have trusted in your wickedness. You have said, No one sees me. Your wisdom and your knowledge have warped you. And you have said in your heart, I am, and there is no one else besides me. Therefore, evil shall come upon you. You shall not know from where it arises, and trouble shall fall upon you. You will not be able to put it off, and desolation shall come upon you suddenly, which you shall not know. Stand now with your enchantments, and the multitude of your sorceries, in which you have labored from your youth. Perhaps you will be able to profit. Perhaps you will prevail. You are wearied in the multitude of your counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, and the monthly prognosticators stand up and save you. From what shall come upon you, behold, they shall be a stubble. The fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. It shall not be a cold to be warmed by, nor a fire to sit before. Thus shall they be to you, with whom you have labored, your merchants from your youth. They shall wander each one to his quarter. No one shall save you. Hear this, O house of Jacob who are called by the name of Israel, and have have come forth from wellsprings of Judah, who swear by the name of the Lord and make mention of the God of Israel, but but not in truth or in righteousness, for they call themselves after the holy city and lean on the God of Israel. The Lord of hosts is his name. I have declared the former things from the beginning. They went forth from my mouth, and I caused them to hear it. Suddenly I did them, and they came to pass, because I knew that you were obstinate, and your neck was an iron 
shining and your brow bronze even from the beginning i have declared it to you before it came to pass i proclaimed it to you least you should say my idol has done them in my carved image and my molded image have commanded them you have heard see all this and you will not declare it i have made you hear new things from this time even hidden things and you did not know them they are created now and not from the beginning and before this day you have not heard them least you should say of course i knew them surely you did not hear surely you did not know surely from long ago your ear was not opened for i knew that you would deal very treacherously and recall the transgressor from the womb for my name's sake i will defer my anger and for my praise i will restrain it from you so that i do not cut off so that i do not cut you off behold i have refined you but not as silver i have tested you in the furnace of affliction for my own sake for my own sake i will do it for how should my name be profaned and i will not give my glory to another listen to me o jacob and israel my called i am he i am the first i am also the last indeed my hand has laid the foundation of the earth and my right hand has stretched out the heavens when i called to them they stand up together all of you assemble yourselves and hear who among them has declared these things the lord loves him he shall do his pleasure on babylon and his arm shall be against the chaldeans i even i have spoken yes i have called him i have brought him and his way will prosper come near to me hear this i have not spoken in secret from the beginning from the time that it was i was there and now the lord god in his spirit have sent me thus says the lord your redeemer and the holy one of israel i am the lord your god who teaches you to profit who leads you by the way you should go oh that you have heeded my commandments then your peace would have been like a river and your righteousness like the waves of the sea your descendants also would have been like the sand and the offspring of your body like the grains of a sand of sand his name would not have been cut off nor destroyed from before me go forth from babylon flee from the chaldeans with a voice of singing declare proclaim this utter it to the end of the earth say the lord has redeemed his servant jacob and they did not thirst when he led them through the deserts he caused the waters to flow from the rock for them he also split the rock and the waters gushed out there is no peace says the lord for the wicked psalm 111:7 to 10 the works of his hands are verity and justice all his precepts are sure they stand fast forever and ever and are done in truth and uprightness he has sent redemption to his people he has commanded his covenant forever holy and awesome is his name the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom a good understanding of all those who do his commandments his praise endures forever proverbs 26:11 to 12 as a dog returns to his own vomit 
shall fall with his, his folly. Do you see a man wise in his own eyes? There is more hope for a fool than for him. Galatians 6, 1-18 Brethren, if a man is overtaken in any trespass, you are spiritual restorer, such as the one in a spirit of gentleness, considering yourself, lest you also be tempted. Be your one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. For if anyone thinks himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceives himself. Let each one examine his own work, and then he will have rejoicing in himself alone, and not in another. For each one shall bear his own load. Let him who is taught the word share in all good things with him who teaches. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. For he sows to his flesh, to his flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. But he who sows to the Spirit will of the Spirit reap everlasting life. And let us now and let us not grow weary while doing good, for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all, especially to those who are of the household of faith. See with what large letters I have written to you with my own hand, as many as desire to make a good showing in the flesh. These would compel you to be circumcised, only that they may not suffer persecution for the cross of Christ. For not even those who are circumcised keep the law, but they desire to have you circumcised that they may boast in your flesh. But God forbid that I should boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision avails anything but a new creation. And as many as walk according to this rule, peace and mercy be upon them and upon the Israel of God. From now on, let no one trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus. Brethren, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. Amen. Amen and amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, and Holy Spirit, O oh God, for your goodness and faithfulness in my life. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for your word, Lord, and your word is true, Lord. It is powerful, O oh God, it can penetrate the Lord in the deepest part of our hearts. Hallelujah, your word, O oh God, will never return void, O oh God, and I pray right now, God, you're going to bless the reading of your word, and it's outgoing, O oh Lord, that it may touch the hearts of your creation, O oh Lord, and transform the lives of your children, God. Hallelujah. May we walk according to your truth, O oh Lord. And draw us closer to you, God. You are mighty, O God. You are holy. You are great. You are awesome. You are wonderful, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen and amen.